Hello everyone. This is a quick video to show you how to access a Gen Chem 1 first semester uh, set of course material. Several of you asked about this because either you maybe have some things you feel like you didn't learn as well as you should have or you need a little bit of a refresher or a reference. Uh, some of you have been away from chemistry for a little bit longer and uh, you need to learn, for example, a little bit more about intermolecular forces. There's some things that we're kind of expecting that you mostly remember for the second semester course. So um, I'm going to show you two different things, two different options. And the first one is the Open Learning Initiative. So OLI for Open Learning Initiative dot CMU for Carnegie Mellon University dot EDU for education. Um, that's the home page for the Open Learning Initiative. And as a student, you have a couple options. You can be in a course that is official and has a course key, and ours has an embedded course key, which you bypassed when you just enrolled via Canvas. Or you can be an independent learner and they have some free courses available to independent learners. So click on independent learners. You can ignore the course key stuff because you're not doing that. And then you're gonna to wanna to access the General Chemistry One course, which you can access via Physical Sciences, or just kind of scroll your way down to General Chemistry One, open and free. And click on that. And then you want to enter the open and free course. And now you're going to have a couple options here. Um, you can sign in, but I think that actually takes you into the non-independent uh, learner courses. And I think if you do this, you might get stuck um, not being able to access this course. So you can try it but I think you may need to either sign up for a separate account as an independent learner. So click sign up and then you just create a new account. Yes, you, I know you may already have an Open Learning Initiative account, but create this account for their uh, independent learner side of things or skip that and you can just enter without an account. You have to tell them you're not a robot and then you just enter the course. And I'm gonna do this because it's quicker uh, this should look fairly familiar in setup. This is General Chemistry 1, and so it's got the material in that courseware, or, or in that course. Um, for example, the Solutions Unit, which is actually also in the Gen Chem 1 uh, courseware. We're starting it with it in Gen Chem 2 as a transition. And so if you are having some trouble with solubility because you don't remember intermolecular forces as well, then you can go to Intermolecular Forces and you get all the usual stuff. The one thing about doing it this way is if you enter the course without an account, it will not save your work, but that's probably fine in most cases. Uh, and if you wanna save your work, then sign up for an independent learner account and go through it that way. Uh, so hopefully that will get you to the Gen Chem 1 course uh, open and free. And then I'm gonna point out one other option and that is the OpenStax, so O-P-E-N-S-T-A-X, and it's .org, O-R-G. And this is an open education resource that has a whole bunch of different textbooks. Uh, it's in fact what our Gen Chem 1 Open Learning, uh, I'm sorry, Gen Chem 1 and Gen Chem 2 Open Learning Initiative courses are based on, is the OpenStax courseware, but the Open Learning Initiative made it all interactive. So this is more static and you can go into your subjects and science and there's a bunch of options. You're going to want chemistry second edition, so chemistry 2E. And then when you go there, you can access the table of contents, view online. You can actually download a PDF and you can actually have it as an app as well. Uh, some people might find that this is very convenient, uh, kind of your option, but the table of contents will have the stuff that you're looking for. 
and the ordering might be different than the Open Learning Initiative, but if you then want to learn about intermolecular forces, you go to that, and it doesn't have embedded uh, learning activities as much. There's a few things, a few simulations and whatnot, but it's not going to give you a chance to check your answers as much, but if you just want to read uh, through uh, and refresh your memory, that's a good resource as well. Okay, so uh, that should give you two options, Open Learning Initiative, free course, uh, OpenStax, also free course, a more static, uh, with multiple options on how you might want to do that one as well, and hope that helps.